in Ibadan, the capital of Oyo State. We understand the rescue operations are still ongoing at the site of Tuesday's explosion in that part of the country. I'm joining the, the studio uh, by an architect, Olabo De Jegede, for more on the development in Oyo State. Mr. Jegede, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. Very disturbing news. You know, it, it was everywhere online. It, initially, they thought it was a major bomb blast, and we understand that even buildings many kilometers away from the site of explosion felt the vibration. We saw some roofs blown away. We saw some buildings totally destroyed. Are you concerned about the structural integrity of buildings in, around this area in Ibadan? Thank you. Um, you see, when you have um, issues like uh, what we just experienced. It's beyond even what we can see in the physical. When you look at uh, the way some of these buildings, cracks, you see ceilings falling off, roofs blown off, columns going, it's a huge concern. And the concern is the fact that the ones that people are looking at readily are the ones maybe totally destroyed now. There are a lot of other underlying issues. So building, you think they're still good or they're still structurally sound. But they are not really safe for human habitation. Simply because as an architect or structural engineer or people in the industry, the design wasn't really done a an issue for such explosion. So it's something that I believe um, Buildings several meters from the epicenter, structural integrity tests need to be conducted on them. So the fact that the building looks good does not mean it can withstand uh, be able to do what they are designed to do. That is, the design capacity or design integrity might not be good enough or, I mean, for living or for human habitation. So is that the responsibility of homeowners, or you think it's something the state government must take up? Very good question. The, the government has started well. The response of the federal government through NEMA, the response of the executive governor of Oyo State, you know, the very quick response, even that night, Tuesday night, it's very commendable. But beyond the rhetorics and the, the issue of the just getting to sites, and making speeches. They need to help further. Is the government, through the physical planning ministry, they have to ensure that structural integrity tests are conducted on buildings in that uh, neighborhood. About five, six streets are involved. I know that area very well, and some of those. And you know, it's, it's not just, um, it's, uh, if you look at the, the demography or the, the number of buildings affected on the streets, you realize that it's only the government that can do a total job or a comprehensive evaluation of the social integrity. Of the, it's not about the homeowner. It's about the government. Hopefully, state government and um, every other uh, stakeholder will rise to the occasion in exactly. New York State. Architect Olabo Jegede, thank you so much for talking to us on the news this hour.